Hello everyone, welcome back to Vedita. I hope each of you are doing good and preparing well for your exams. Till yesterday, we covered five MCQs on finance, and from today, we'll be starting management. And in management, we'll be studying the important, few important uh, topics from each chapter. And today, we'll be starting with motivation. And today, we'll be covering basics of motivation and one of the most important theories of motivation that is Maslow's theory. So stay throughout the session so that you understand all the basics. Before beginning the session, if you are new to EduTap, I have a very good news for you that we have prepared a comprehensive guidebook for RBI Grade B and SEBI Grade A, which would provide you all the answers of your common queries. These common queries, you know, consume a lot of time of yours because you do not find the prompt answers of them in a combined manner in any of the websites. Let it be about the pattern of the exam, the strategy to follow, the cutoffs which were prevailing, the apt resources which you need to follow. Not just that, the perks which you would receive once you join the organization. organization. All of this, which is very basic and you know, it somewhere hinders your preparation. We understand this fact and we present you this guidebook which is just 30 pages and is a must for each of you. So do download the same from the description link given below. If you are new to our channel, do press the bell icon to receive the latest updates on various regulatory body exams. And in order to receive the telegram, uh, the PDFs of the session, do join the telegram channel. So today we will be co co covering basics of motivation. What are motive, motivators and motivating? We'll understand the process of motivation as a whole, the various types of motivation, motivational theories, and lastly, we'll discuss what is Maslow's theory of motivation. So let's begin the session. Now, what is motivation in general? Now, before, you know, jumping into the technical definition of motivation, let us take this example. Let's say this is Ram who studies 18 hours a day. So the first question when you don't know Ram would be why is he studying and when you talk to him you get to know that he's studying hard because he wants to become a doctor and why does he want to become a doctor because he wants to serve the society he wants to serve the needy ones that is why he starts studying 18 hours a day. So what is that inner factor which is making him study so long? It is the fact that he wants to serve the society by becoming a successful doctor. So this is what motivation in general is. Motivation is nothing but a process which initiates, guides and maintains goal-oriented behavior. So because Ram wanted to become a doctor, he initiated his action of studying hard and why did he want to become a doctor? To serve the needy ones. And in order to become a doctor, he had to maintain a goal-oriented behavior. That is, he had to study persistently. So this is what motivation in general is. So you can say that whatever goals or, you know, achieve, achievements we want to have in life, it is motivation which causes us to act accordingly. Okay? Now, See, when you look into the formal definition of motivation, that motivation is the willingness of a person to make intense and persistent efforts so as to achieve their desired goals. So in the previous example, Ram was willing to work hard. Why was he willing to work hard? Because he knew he wanted to become a doctor and serve the society. Now, in order to become a doctor, he made intense efforts. What were the intense efforts? He studied hard for 18 hours. Now, the, most, the next most important concept is persistent manner. So, you know, he, can, he or she cannot, you know, just do the actions once or twice. It has to be continuous. So, in this case, Ram has to maintain his action persistently. He has to work hard till he becomes a doctor. So whenever I say motivation, there are three things which should come to your mind. That is willingness, intense and persistent efforts. See, whenever you are covering management, see, it is very simple. You just have to remember the key terms. 
and everything else will be done and you will be able to solve the questions very easy. So keep in mind whenever the willingness of the person is high, it tells that the person is highly motivated. More your willingness to work, it shows more you are motivated. I hope you understood what motivation is exactly. Let's move ahead now that we have complete, completed motivation. Now we'll understand what are motives, motivators and motivating. See, we'll understand all these three terms using a very popular story which each of us have read in our junior classes. This is the story of a crow who is thirsty and he goes near this water pot and you know fills pebbles and drinks the water eventually. So let's understand these three terms using this concept. Now, what is motive or need? See, as the name suggests, as the name says, it is a need, which means it is an inner state. The crow feels that something is lacking from within. Okay. So, what is lacking? He feels that he is thirsty. So, this inner motivation that something is lacking is known as motive. And based on this inner call, the person or let's say the crow in this given situation would work towards the goal-oriented behavior. Okay? Now, what are motivators? Now, moti now that you know what is a motive, on the same lines, motivator is nothing but the thing or the service which would satisfy your basic needs. And according to this story, what would be the motivator then? Then it is the water. Okay? Now, what is motivating? See, let us take another example. Let's say you are working or, you know, preparing very hard to clear your RBI exam. And now looking at your hard work, your fellow, as your fellow aspirants or let's say your teammates, they also start working hard. Okay? That process is known as motivating. That is, you, you are inspiring others, you know, to engage in a goal-oriented behavior. Now, let's say, how would you inspire them? You will tell them that, let's, let's say you join RBI. You get good salary. There is a work-life balance. You know, all these things are motivators that I want a work-life balance. I want good salary. So, you as a motivating person would show your fellow colleagues or let's say your friends the motivators and motivate them towards working a goal-oriented behavior. I hope you understood what are motives, motivators and motivating. Let's move ahead and understand the process of how this motivation process works. Okay. Let us understand the whole process of motivation with an example. Now, let's say there is a person, Ram, who wants to become independent. Let's say he is dependent on his parents completely. So what happens is the first thing which comes to his mind that the factor what he wants or what he needs. So what he needs, he wants to become independent. So becoming independent is Ram's need. Now, once he knows what his needs are, he starts brainstorming really hard. And you know, he wants to come up with ideas that what can he do? And this creates a tension for Ram. Okay. This is the next process, need, then tension, which means he wants to know what can he do on his own. Okay. Now, after, you know, successfully finding what he wants to do, he decides that he wants to start a business of its own. So once he knows that he wants to start a business of his own, what will he do? He'll take goal-directed behavior. He, you know, starts finding the various market scenario let's say or the various technologies which he can use so that is what the next step is once he overcomes the tension process he moves towards the goal directed behavior that he's working hard now once he decides that okay yeah he figures out this is what i want to do or this is the business i want to start let's say he successfully you know establishes a business of his own he starts his business and finally when he starts his business, he has become independent. Okay? So, this was the initial need which was met. Okay? 
this was the initial need he wanted to become independent and he, now that he has started his own business he has become independent now finally you ram would check that whether his needs or wants have been satisfied or not see what was his ultimate aim of starting the business he wanted to become independent and earn money so let's say if he's earning good money it shows that his needs are satisfied and then finally there is a feedback process which means that a sense of satisfaction is sent back now let's say what would happen if the needs of this person is not met man lo ram was not able to start his own business then what would have been his reactions firstly he would have a uh, you know emotion of fight what do i mean when i say there's emotion of fight he would have become unsatisfied and he would have left the field that no i'm not going to pursue business anymore second thing which would have arised is apathy what do you mean by apathy in general it just means that he becomes indifferent towards the situation matlab he is not bothered whatever happens happens it is that state of mind the other thing possible is aggression what is aggression you know because of his failure he starts showing anger towards is near and dear ones this is what other emotion he can express and the last thing is rationalization what is rationalization he starts justifying his action he starts blaming the situation let's say he says that no people didn't support me the market is not good for business that is what known as rationalization matlab wo apne situations apne haal pe matlab he you know there is like he doesn't accept that he went wrong somewhere he just blames the situation so these four emotions arise when there is failure of the motivation process or when the need is not fulfilled theek okay? hai now now that we have completed what is or how does the motivation process work let's understand the types of motivation firstly there are two types of motivation the first classification is positive and the second classification is negative motivation see positive motivation is nothing but a positive feeling kaise ki matlab you take something because you are motivated positively from within there is a positivity why am i let's say you go to a job you feel why do you want to go to the job you like your job as a whole the colleagues there are very friendly the boss is very supportive that motivates you from within you are learning a lot those kind of motivation are known as positive motivation on the other hand what is negative motivation as the name suggests let's say you are doing this job because you know you are afraid that you have to pay your bills or let's say you are afraid that what people would say aise case mein with when you are motivated to do the work not because of your positive aspects but you know just to meet your regular needs that is known as negative motivation the next classification is basic and learned motivation what is basic whenever i say basic please keep in mind that basic means those kind of motivation which is common to humans and animals matlab what can be these motivation example food shelter all these are basic needs which are common to humans and animals as well what are learned motivations see these are ones which are possible in humans you know people learn from their experiences that is what learned motivation is let's say we want power this power the you know there's a person who who wants to control everyone in the organization that you know inner call which motivates him to work hard that yeah i'll get get into good position that kind of motivation is known as learned motivation now lastly intrinsic and extrinsic motivation see whenever i see intrinsic motivation what do you mean intrinsic motivation look at this diagram the intrinsic motivation is also which comes from within theek okay? hai there is a sense of achievement that you want to do good eventually and after doing the work in a proper way you feel pride you take up something because you have interest in that work you want to explore something new and you are curious to learn new things those kind of motivation is known as intrinsic motivation whereas what is an extrinsic motivation extrinsic motivation let's say you take up something you know for let's say some uh, 
like it is not a you know inner call it is a inner call but it is derived in a you know monetary way let's say you are taking a job let's say because you know that this job is going to pay you high not because you are interested in this job it the money or the perks you receive is high that is why you are taking this job that type of example would be an example of extrinsic motivation now let's say you are a student you study hard because you want good grades not because you want to enrich your knowledge that is an example of extrinsic motivation and i hope you understood what are the different types of motivation now let us understand the different types of motivation theories there are two classification of motivation theory one is the content theory and the other one is the process theory see whenever i say content theory content theory is also known as traditional theory and process theory is also known as contemporary theory see content theory of motivation tells it is nothing but it tells you what motivates an individual it addresses what matlab kya needs logon ko motivate karta hai the needs which motivate this is what content or traditional theory of motivation is whereas on the other hand what is process based theory process based theory tells how motivation works on an individual how it works theek hai this is content based theory and today we will be understanding a very important content based theory that is maslow's theory now before you know moving towards maslow's theory please keep in mind if there is a manager theek hai he has to understand and motivate his employees individually you know to create a you know proper environment see let's say there is a person a and there is a person b now what happens is let's say this person is more not motivated enough because he feels that his job is quite hectic and he is not able to create a work life balance on the other hand there is a person b you know he finds the job interesting but eventually he is become bored of the job because he is getting same tasks now what is the role of manager here the manager has to cater to the needs of these employees individually let's say he has to provide this employee with you know time changes so that he works accordingly he cannot add more more task to this person's profile i'm sorry he cannot add more task to this person's profile to make him feel motivated no he has to provide him with basic work life balance he has to provide with to provide him with different shift timings let's say on the other hand this person b he is bored of the same task because he has been doing it repeatedly over time so what can manager do he can assign him new tasks he cannot you know change his timing because this will have no effect on his motivation process so what do you conclude from this whole example that the manager has to understand what or you know which need motivates his employees and he has to work accordingly now let's move to the last section that is maslow's theory this is an example of content based theory what is content based theory as i said you just now it talks about what motivates people keep this in mind this single word what you will get the answer needs so maslow's theory is very simple he said that people are motivated by their needs and you know he arranged these five basic needs in a hierarchical table you know we'll understand maslow's theory with an example but let us understand this pyramid first maslow said that whenever the a person you know wants to feel motivated he'll follow this table of hierarchy he'll start from basic needs and he'll move above in this process he said that the person cannot skip any of these steps stages which means the person has to fulfill his basic needs then move to psychological needs and then self fulfillment needs now we'll understand each of them in detail that is what is psychological need what is safety need what is social self esteem and self actualization need now let's say this is a girl priya who graduated from the college and assume that she has no one 
no money and let's say she is an orphan just assume theek hai now let's say she completed her graduation with good marks you know what is the first thing which would strike her mind see the graduation is over so please keep in mind this factor of graduation is you know completing graduation is not going to help her ahead which means this factor that yeah i completed graduation is not going to motivate her further this is what maslow also said that a need which is fulfilled theek hai is not going to motivate the person it is the higher need which is going to motivate the person further theek hai so in this example she completes her graduation now she wants to feel psychologically safe she wants to meet her psychological needs she wants to feel comfortable what is that she wants food water theek hai now let's say she achieves all this what is the next step the next step is that she wants to feel safe now let's say now that she has achieved the first step she wants to feel safe what do i mean to say when uh, i say she wants to feel safe jaise maan lo she takes insurance or let's say you know she uh, feels that okay i want a job i want to get a secure job you know she wants a guarantee ki ha yaar mere ko log job se nahi nikalenge that is you know the feel the process of feeling safe now let's say she gets her into a job and she settled there nicely what is the next stage next stage she wants to feel belonged you know she wants to you know make friends no one would like a job where you go and just sit and you know no one is going to talk to you so there is that she needs a sense of belongingness this is what the next step is now let's say she achieves this as well now she wants recognition she wants her employers to you know appreciate her for her work you know she wants that people come to know her that yeah she has done the task well that is what is the next step and finally when she achieves all this the last stage is self actualization what is self actualization jab bhi self actualization ko yaad rakhna ho to ye yaad rakhna ki wo gyan mil gaya wala you know understanding the inner self that yeah this is what my needs actually are and i am able to attain that that is what self actualization is theek hai so going back what were the psychological needs food water which she needed safety she wanted a permanent job that is what comes into safety needs social needs she wanted to have a sense of belongingness self esteem needs you know the employers had to praise her that yeah you did the job well and eventually when she met all these needs maslow says that the person would reach to self actualization which i said you as gyan ka prapti isko aise yaad rakhna this is how simple maslow's theory is i hope you enjoyed the session and if you have any doubts do reach out to us in the given number and do mail us to receive any you know answers of any of your queries thank you